More than 100 women have been killed by men, mostly their relatives, in Turkey since January 1, including three women killed in recent days across the country. Seda Kamgaz, a 34-year-old mother of two, was killed by her ex-husband when he attacked her with a knife in broad daylight on one of the most crowded streets in the western province of Yelova on May 6, Anadolu Agency reported. Kamgaz, a teacher at a private education center, died at the scene, while her attacker, Bulent Diller, was captured by the police at the scene and arrested by the court. On May 3, a woman was killed by her husband in the western province of Adirna. Ursul Ghul was murdered by her husband, Gokhan Ferret Ghul, 32, while she was sleeping in their home in Narka village in the district of Kesson. Ghul shot and killed his wife with a rifle before turning the weapon on himself. He shot himself in the head in the village square and died in hospital later. He also shot his son, an eight-year-old identified as A.G., but the bullets missed the young boy. Ghul had stayed in a mental hospital for a month, but did not take his medications properly after being discharged from the hospital, according to his neighbors. Meanwhile, in the southern province of Adana, a woman was seriously wounded by her ex-husband on May 6. Selda Birisik, 19, had been staying at her aunt's house with her three-year-old son after divorcing her husband, identified as 31-year-old Smile A, a year ago. Smile A went to the house and attacked Birisik with a knife. Birisik survived the attack and was hospitalized in an intensive care unit. Her condition was still critical on May 7. Smile A also beat the young woman's aunt, who had attempted to stop the attack, and fled the scene along with their three-year-old son, identified as O.A. The police have been searching for both the attacker and the young boy. Another incident involved a Turkish singer and songwriter who was found brutally murdered in her house in Istanbul's Taksim neighborhood late on May 5. The victim, Dear Danese, knew her killer, according to the initial findings of the police investigation. The body of the 39-year-old woman was discovered by her younger brother when he had a locksmith open the door of her house after the singer's family had been unable to contact her throughout the day. Police sources speaking to Daily Hurry yet stressed that the door of the rented apartment where Danies lived had not been forced and none of her belongings were stolen, hinting that she had opened the door herself. The killer or killers tied her hands with the cable of a cell phone charger at one point before strangling her with the strap of her bag. She had rented the place two years ago. She said she had been working at a hotel, the victim's landlord, Mustafa Tanraverdi, said, adding the police took the testimonies of other residents in the building, some of whom were renting rooms daily. The investigation is continuing and police are currently examining Danese's cell phone and computer for possible clues.